Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today we are on to our number 10, number 10 of our vegan empties. And I will link below the playlist with the rest of them in case you have not seen them. But what we do here is little mini reviews of foods that are vegan friendly, whether they're by accident or not. And uh, you guys seem to love them and I do totally don't mind doing them. And so let's get into it. So first item is the this hummus quartet from Trader Joe's and you get literally four flavors. You get the classic hummus, tomato basil and roasted garlic and then the spicy hummus as well. I love this. I love that you get literally four sections of it. Each one comes in each, you know, little section. I love this. They're all really good. I love the spicy one to put in wraps. I love the rest of them to dip veggies and it's good to go or crackers. Very good. I love this. I will definitely get it again. I love that it's, and I think it was relatively cheap too. I want to say this was $5 off the top of my head and for, you know, a full tub essentially just, you know, different flavors. It's not terrible at all. So yeah, it's one pound good stuff. Next item is actually this roasted garlic hummus by Green Giant. I recently just got this and this was really, really good. Is it my favorite? No, probably not. Uh, my favorite thus far, as far as true flavor of them, is the Cedars brand and probably the Trader Joe's brand. But this was not bad at all and it did have like chunks of garlic in it in the center as well. It was pretty good, not bad. I actually got the Green Giant one in the classic original too and it's not empty yet though. And it's not bad but it's definitely not a favorite. It really is kind of bland to me. And I'm like, okay, okay, well, I know now, you know. So yeah, Green Giant. I've never tried that brand before for hummus, but yeah, not terrible. So next item you're going to see is really not empty. I should probably return these, although it's been a while. They've been in my husband's office and I forgot about them because of that. And he took them in there to munch on and he never did. And I remember when we got these months ago now at Costco, they're the Kirkland brand. I took a handful and I was like, mm, I don't like them. I don't like them. So they're the unsalted mixed nuts. What I liked about it though, was that you got cashews, almonds, and pecans, but you also got pistachios, which to me was kind of a, uh, a, a different kind of blend than what you normally would find out there, which I liked. So that's why I wanted to pick them up. I don't know if it is because they are unsalted, which although I know that it said that I was fine with that. There was just no flavor to any of them to me at all. And so maybe it was because of that. Maybe they need a little bit of salt. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys tried these before? What do you think? I know Nora, hi, if you're watching, that she bought these, she hauled them too, and I told her that, and then she like commented back. She's like, I know what you mean. <laughs> and so it wasn't just me on that one. And yeah, there's just something about these that just were not a hit for us at all. I don't want to say that they were like terrible, but we never ate them. Like they, we just did not go to them at all. I don't know. So yeah, kind of a letdown. And nuts like this are not cheap. They're really not. So, you know, you want to like them. <laughs> Next item is from Trader Joe's and it's this chopped basil and I know this is super lazy I know but I do love these and they make them in the basil as well as garlic and these are vegan because all it is though is basil canola oil uh, cornstarch sea salt and lemon concentrate so it's not just basil but it is uh, raw and vegan still but they come in this little these little itty bitty like pop them out type thing, kind of like an ice tray. And you can just throw them into your dishes. And these are frozen though, you keep it in your freezer. And yeah, you would just like toss it into a dish and you're getting fresh basil, it's just been frozen. And so I really do like these if you are wanting a fresh herb versus dried, but you, you know, you don't necessarily always have fresh herbs on hand, this is kind of the way to do it. Point is though, I mean to have like true fresh basil in your freezer is absolutely vital probably not but it's good so there <laughs> but i would always add this to like pasta dishes and stuff i like it okay so next item is this buy drink which i love the buy drinks i love them and but this is the buy bubbles 
and it's the carbonated version of the like juices they have guys I was so excited to try this because I love the original type I don't like it now having said that I did not like this coconut one I did not like it my husband drank it and I tried it and I was like nope I don't like it <laughs> I don't know what it was I just did not like it but I got like a black cherry one and that one was really good so maybe it's just flavor to flavor but yeah I was not a fan of this one at all so overall though even though the black cherry one was good I would stick to the original type juices and not the carbonated ones overall yeah Next item is some chow cheese. I don't think I've technically ever included this on a empties, not because I haven't had it over and over, because I have, but we keep kept throwing these away because <laughs> it's kind of small. But this is like the packaging to it, and it's like sliced cheese, like little squared cheeses. And this is our favorite hands down, hands down. Chow cheese is amazing. It is not cheap. For us, it's about $7 for 10 slices, which is insane. But I've heard it's even more sometimes for other people too. But it is so good. It really is. And what's so good about it too is it melts. And I know that sounds silly, but in the world of fake cheese, it matters. And <laughs> so we love this. I prefer the creamy original as my choice but they have like a coconut herb one which is pretty good too my husband really likes but i just like this original one this is my favorite for sure and the um serving size on it is one slice for 60 calories and four and a half grams of fat for that which really isn't that bad so yeah i i always dice this up and put it on like a baked potato i will put this on like a rice bowl uh so good yeah i love it Next item is some coconut sugar. If you are not familiar with coconut sugar, and this one in particular from Trader Joe's, this is a great alternative to really not have so much sugar in your life when it comes to like baking. Use this instead. I have been using this to make pancakes recently. I will link below the recipe uh, playlist which has a pancake recipe I recently did. So good. And I've been using this but this the ingredients on this is literally organic coconut palm sugar i will say it's definitely not as sweet as regular cane sugar but it's really good and if you're not someone that really loves things overly sweet but you need to use it to make a recipe you'll like this this is not bad so i picked this up at trader joe's and i really really like it Okay, last item. My husband found these, and these were at our local grocery store, Vaughn's, but it's by the Alyssa's brand, which I've never heard of, and these are Healthy Vegan Bites. I know I can't really show them to you because we ate them, but it was just this little package, and they were basically um, little oatmeal cookies, like mini ones. Probably got about 10 of them. They were like that size ish and they really were like oatmeal cookies they were really really good i mean is it cost effective this kind of stuff probably not it's really not but if you're looking for a sweet treat it's an option for sure but they're gluten-free non-gmo high fiber uh no sugar added of uh, vegan little cookies so you have to keep an eye out and that's the Alyssa's brand i would get them again they were good Last item is going to be this big old box of LaCroix, which I'm actually drinking right now, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one, hands down, is my favorite so far. That's really messing with my light. <laughs> yeah, this is the berry one so good now i've included lacroix before so i won't like spend too much time on it but i wanted to show you that one because it is a different flavor the last one i did was mango which is really good too but yeah mm -hmm. mm. that's gonna do it guys so i will definitely continue to do this for you guys as we go so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.